poor thing. I feel the torment within you. It pains me to see you so angry with me. As it pains me to lose a valued friend. Bruce would be pleased to know you feel as such. He appreciates your companionship as well. You misunderstand me. I do not miss Dr. Banner. I mourn him. Yet another soul fallen to your twisted call. More lies taught to you by Sarah and her pet witch. I do not compel Dr. Banner. I released him. Released him from the shackles of those who've sought to control him his entire life. Such a unique mind. Such a powerful soul. Held in check for so long by his lesser. I cannot help but see the similarity to you, precious child. Will you not allow me to help you achieve the same? To find a true purpose. Achieve peace. I will only know peace upon your death. And I would happily die for you, if it would truly give you that. I am sure. But we both know it is far more complicated than that. My sister has raised you to be a weapon. Tricked you into believing that's all you are, all you want to be. I am here to show you you are more than that. When the time comes, you will stand by my side, freely. I would never have it otherwise. And I thought I was the one who was dreaming. You have been asleep far too long, child. You must pierce the veil of their false prophecy and... Wake up! <gasps> Never get used to that. Looking forward to tonight! What do you think? You don't think this whole Bruce Wanda thing is fair either, right? Fair? What do you mean, Nico? Oh, come on! You see the double standard too? I know you do! All they care about is losing Bruce. It's as if Wanda never existed. Now we all have to sit around and cuddle Stark through his grief. Who was there for us when Wanda was taken, huh? Where was our Kleenex and freaking group therapy? Banner was an Avenger, one of their own. They lost a brother. Surely you can empathize with that. Not if they're not going to empathize with us first. Wanda's a Midnight Sun. Our lives should matter just as much as theirs freaking do. <laughs> you know, I bet if they had a shot at saving their precious Banner boy, they wouldn't hesitate. How long has Wanda been gone? We've waited long enough for someone to take action. And action is just what I might take. I don't freaking believe this. Wanda falls and everyone's like, oh freaking well, she was kind of messed up anyway, move on. But they're golden boy ba- Hey, can I ask a favor? Oh, thanks, Hunter. No! Oh, 
and you were so close to knocking that gorilla off its platform. You wanted it? You got it. Thanks, Hunter. corner executive suite using our gamma accelerator as his own personal quantum space heater. Welcome to Tony's Scary Demon Cave. I'm Tony, and how may I assist you today? These should definitely give you an edge. How long did you say you were exposed to this thing? Eh, it's probably fine. you retro or more hardcore than the ones they come out with today? What's up, Hunter? Mind if I join you? Please do. Hey, you know what they call me in France? What? Well, nothing. I'm surprised enough when people recognize me outside of Queens. But if they did, you know what they'd call me? No idea. Pierre Parkour. I like it. What would you be called around the globe? Huh, I don't know. I haven't had the chance to linger in all the places I've been. Oh, there's a Spanish paper in Brooklyn that calls me Aranido. I like that one. Every now and then I hear someone call it out when they spot me. Usually kids, waving their arms off. Always makes my day. Oh, did I tell you Robbie's teaching me some Spanish? Next time I'll be able to say more than just, Yo no hablo espanol! Now that's an excellent time. You're pretty cool, Hunter. We do fun stuff. Hello, my sweet girl. That's my favorite hunter. It's someone in the Abbey special day today. How are you, Carol? Better than Tony, poor guy. I hate seeing him beat himself up over Banner. I mean, every option was some Faustian flavor of crap. Would you have been able to take the shot? Because I don't think I could have. I do not have it in me to kill someone I loved, either. No offense, but I actually don't buy that, Hunter. You did kill your mother when it came down to it, didn't you? That was not a choice. Sorry. I didn't mean to scratch at that scab. It's just... 
I do think you are probably a tad more comfortable with going to the dark side to get the job done than we are. Dark side? I have given my life to preserving the angels of our better natures. I'm not trying to be judgmental. We need ruthless soldiers like you in battles like this to do the things the rest of us aren't comfortable doing. I should really check in on Tony at some point today. See you around. I think Doctor Strange knows Merlin. I'm still waiting for someone to take this. He could go a few rounds. Ready to work? An enhanced spell, most welcome. Ready for more? Just give me a target. We've got plenty of tricks for old dogs. No excuses here. We'll see if I can find you a treat later. Hydra wants a straight up fight, then I say give them everything you've got. Reading you loud and clear. Let's do it. Interesting tactic. Targeting systems active.
they seem insistent on attacking me. Made a big mistake. Final solution ready. They haven't given up yet. Different master, same old Hydra cowardice. This way. Sending in reinforcements. Time to show them who's in charge here. I'm going in. They're not going to like this. What do you think? to get it together.
that was really something. isn't enough to scare off these so-called children of Lilith. Prepare yourself! The light shines on the most dutiful. Which one of you wants to go first? Someone order a knock sandwich. You brought this on yourself. One more time. I think you hopefully they learned their lesson. That's wishful thinking. Magic surprise party is nearly upon us. Party is prepped and everyone did their part and I'm not even stressing about it. <laughs> that Parker guy is chatty, but he worked fast and made the time fly. That is good to hear. Oh, it's nearly time. Head to the party, wait with the others. I'll bring magic, you yell surprise when we walk in and then the party is on. I will head there now. Surprise! What fresh hell is this? <laughs> it's a surprise party! Happy birthday! <sighs> Wonderful. Just me, or is Magic not having a good time? I heard Magic does not like surprises. No, that can't be it. We're friends. I'd know if that was true, right? I don't get it. Everyone loves surprise birthday parties. I should know. I missed out on a few when I was on the run. Why are you so concerned? Wanda is gone. Bruce Banner is fighting for the other team, and the world's going to actual hell if we don't stop it. A birthday party is a good way to lift everyone's spirits. I'm sure we can fix this. 
You mind letting her know it's time to cut the cake? Sure. Okay, I'll be right there. I haven't been to a surprise party in years. Who was it for? What a delightful distraction. Though I find my work at the Forge invigorating, the occasional entertainment prevents burning out. It is good to take a break when you can. Oh, I meant literal burning from the inside out. One of the hazards of manipulating Hellfire. This all came together nicely. Are you surprised? Somewhat. Nico's plans get ahead of her, at times. But this is... it's quite pleasant. Did you get her anything? A uh, gift card? Uh, uh, Tony! What do you get the Queen of Limbo? Uh, if he doesn't know... From everything I'd heard about the Abbey, I hadn't expected it to be so festive. What did you hear? Just the basics from Tony and Carol. They made it sound like a wayward home for troubled youths. Do you believe that? So far, I see heroes throwing a birthday party for one of their teammates. It's what the Avengers used to do before we got so busy. Treasure these moments. They'll keep you going when times are tough. This is great. I wish the other heroes did stuff like this. Celebrate birthdays? Yeah. I guess it's difficult when you don't know each other's real names, or actual birthdays, which would completely invalidate our secret identities. But why are we talking about this when there's cake to cut? Hmm... This party was a great idea. Maybe it'll cheer up the Avengers. You think so? It's a party, right? I hope it helps them feel at home. You know what they call this? The calm before the storm. What makes you say that? Just a feeling. Been a while since we've been able to let loose. The Avengers, you mean? Yeah, we've been busy. We see far too much of each other, and yet nowhere near enough. I can't stop thinking about Bruce. I want to hate him for what he did, but... I keep wondering if this was our fault. He always gets into trouble when he's alone. Did we blow him off? Did he reach out but we missed it? I don't know. Yes, that might be what happened. Do not let it happen with the others. Yeah, I'm not always the best with interpersonal stuff. Doesn't mean I can't get better at it. <sighs> Enough of my moping. I'm going to enjoy this party. I suggest you do the same. We're go for cake, right? Soon. And save some for the rest of us. No promises. I prefer smaller parties. My last birthday had 2,000 guests. How do you know thousands of people? I wouldn't say I know them. Most of them are business flunkies, glad handers, general hangers on. Half the night I'm shaking hands and managing expectations. I spend so much time as Mr. Stark, I'm lucky if I get to be Tony. And birthdays are better with people who know you. I'm coming around to it. Not that I plan to invent a worldwide crisis next year to have a cozy birthday party. Although... No, I shouldn't. What? Are you alright? I have endured enough of this. This has gone on long enough. You made me the center of attention I do not need at a party I did not want. So what do you want now? To cut the cake? Magic, wait. Fine. I will cut the cake. Happy birthday? So is this a normal thing with her, or... 
Mr. Stark. Uh, Mrs. Caretaker? Ma'am? I would appreciate you not making light of the situation. Oh, that's kind of my thing. For the love of... But that's not what I was doing. <sighs> Go on. I understand the irony of an Avenger... Okay, of me personally saying this aloud, but this is no time for teammates to fight one another. What do you propose? A scapegoat. If magic needs to focus her anger on anyone, I can be... An asshole? Uh -huh. I was going to say myself turned up to 11, but that works. A gracious offer, but Ileana would never take the bait. Well, I can be some pretty obnoxious bait. Have you seen me crash award shows? You pale in comparison to the one she truly hates. And who is that? Her business to share. <sighs> Poor kid. You don't know the half of it. Liliana's my friend. How could I have missed this? You should not blame yourself. Then why not? If I paid attention to what she wanted, I wouldn't have driven her away. I want to fix this, but I, I can't follow her to Limbo. Although... Maybe you could? Tell me what I need to do. The Staff of One can bring you close to her. When you find her, could you talk to her? Make sure she's alright? That's all I care about. What is the best way to approach magic? I feel like I'm the last person you should ask. I'm sure the others have some advice. Is this a one-way trip? It shouldn't be. Once you find magic, she can open a portal to send you back. Hopefully, both of you. How different will this be from our usual trips through Limbo? I know as much as you do. The landscapes might be trippier than usual. I need a moment. I want to see what the others have to say. Can't hurt to ask. Tell me when you're ready and I'll send you to Limbo. Was it me? Did I mess up? I messed up, didn't I? You did nothing wrong. Really? Really. Good, good. Well, I don't know her at all, but she seems really cool. And it's still a party until I hear otherwise. If you think it'll help, tell her I'll stick around. So, uh, cool. Wish I'd picked up on Magic's mood before she unloaded on Nico. Sometimes I can tell when she's getting upset. Talk her down, you know? Do you have any advice? Just be there for her. That goes a long way with Magic. That went exactly the way I expected. I need to speak with Magic. Any advice? Woman's not hard to figure out if you pay attention. She does not say much. Makes it easier to listen. Are you really going to chase the birthday girl through a hellish dimension she completely controls? I cannot do nothing. If there is a chance, I will bring her back. Oh, I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm documenting the weirdest birthday party I've ever attended. Hey, if you take too long, I call dibs on your cake. If we can scavenge them off the ceiling. Always wanted to do that. Do what? Smash a birthday cake so hard it explodes. Why would you want to do that? I have complicated feelings about my birthday. Smash a cake someone made for me? I'm baking you a cake. I was afraid this would happen. I will bring her back. 
I know. When you find her, make sure she knows the Abbey will always be a home to her. I'm guessing this is out of character for magic? Yes, I think so. Hmm. Well, good luck bringing her back. Any advice? A friend of mine gets overwhelmed like that. Tough love doesn't work. Neither does unwanted advice. Basically, don't do what I always do. That'll just make it worse. To limbo, then. I caution you. This shall not resemble the leisurely jaunts you take from the wild cliffs. Any pointers? If you find yourself upon a path, do not stray from it, especially if someone or something encourages you to do so. And, uh, bring some hand sanitizer. Few realize our reality is the least, let's say, sticky. Poor kid. Is there anything I can do to help? I could use some advice. My gut says this isn't a clash of personalities. Magic's fighting her own demons. Nico happened to catch some friendly fire. Thanks. I will keep that in mind. I'll leave you to it. Good luck, Hunter. Thanks for doing this. Any questions, or are you ready to go? All right. Send me after magic. Okay. Here goes nothing. When blood is shed, let the staff of one emerge. Thanks for doing this. Any questions, or are you ready to go? What is the best? I feel. Who are you? You made a wish, and I'm in the business of granting wishes. Tell me. Why does your heart ache? They forgot. Today is my... my... Oh, sweetly. Your birthday. What an awful way to learn what your family truly thinks of you. They don't love me. Nobody does. I can bring you to a magical kingdom. Make you its queen, loved by all in its domain. But you have to wish it so. I could never be as special as a queen. Now, now. That's a lie your family would tell you. I happen to know you're a very special girl. Before we go, I have a question. Of course. Ask me anything, my queen. Are, are you a monster? Oh, child, I'm so much more than that. I'm a friend. The only one you'll ever need.
house in limbo. What is this place? Hunter, what are you doing here? It is not possible to enter Limbo without my knowing. How did you get here? Nico used the Staff of One. Of course. And why did she not come herself? She thought it would make things worse. Well, that makes two of us. Wait. If you found your way to this place, what did you hear? Well, I think I know why you hate your birthday. My deepest shame. You are the first beyond myself to know this. The first person, at least. The creature you heard brought me here, but my childish needs cursed me to this terrible place. I lost my childhood to one bad choice. I trusted a silver tongue instead of my own family. You cannot blame yourself. If not me, then who? I was a fool. You were a child. I was a foolish child. This day is an anniversary of my weakness. Nothing more. You cannot let this build up inside you. You have to share it. Now I have, and there is little more to say. <sighs> I should stay here this evening. I can endure the stares and whispers, but not tonight. There is still a party going on. We can always go back. You can, but I should not. Don't worry. I will return in the morning. We could hang out here if you want. I need to be alone right now. Just for tonight. I should get going. Can you open a portal? Yes, in a moment. About Nico. What should I tell her? Tell her... I don't know. Tell her what you will. She should not have done this. I should not have responded as I did. Yet here we are. Could you tell me about the creature you mentioned? Something I hope you never have the misfortune to meet. I can say no more. Why not? It hears when you speak its name. I refuse to give it this satisfaction. What happened to it? An eviction of sorts. A permanent one? That is my hope. Why does this look like your room in the Abbey? It doesn't. My room in the Abbey looks like this one. For years, this was the only place in Limbo where I was safe. Where I felt at home. The creature said many strange things about you. How much was true? None. All were lies to manipulate a stupid child. The creature brought me here to rule this place, but not as I do now. It desired a servant. Loyal, unthinking. A stupid child who believed its lies. I took great pleasure in disappointing it.
I should get going. I will open a portal for you. Good night, Magic. See you, Hunter. You were gone for so long. Did you find magic? I did. She is going to spend the night in limbo. Is she doing all right? Is she mad at me? Once she is back, the two of you should talk. Of course, you're right. I'm, I'm just glad she's doing better. I can't thank you enough for doing this. Don't know how this would have ended without you. Good night, Hunter. Good night, Nico. Good girl, Charlie. <laughs> what is it, Charlie? Find something? Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. <laughs> 